What's great cracking guys and girls? Hopefully everyone's doing all right. I know I am. I'll make this video short and sweet, but at the very least, I've been asked by a lot of people whether or not you can actually install the UART M620 motors onto the new E55. This is following from one of the posts I put up on the Dengfu Facebook community group where the battery had a sticker and it used the words C-A-N and I think people have uh, misinter mistook that for meaning canvas. Uh, the answer to that is C-A-N, it doesn't stack, it's not canvas this is a frame and a battery which it doesn't matter whether or not you run uart or or canvas it will work and let me just show you exactly what i mean okay so i've just cobbled everything together just quickly but obviously this is a m620 uart uh you can see the uh power cable there and i've just jerry rigged it up to a traditional UART style of connector of uh, the DEPC-18, I think it's called. But yeah, this is the UART M620 48 volt. Um, then we just turned the... Oh, it's already on, that's good. Uh, so in which case, if I just boot up the display... And as you can see, everything is working. The display is showing correct, uh, not the correct voltage and percentage of the battery. Um, the reason for that is because this is a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery. The motor is uh, set by default to uh, 48 volts. So I will need to reprogram that. But like I said, everything is working. Uh, here's the speed sensor. Uh, there it is, there's that magnet sensor just grab that quickly so if you just watch the display see if i can obviously just so obviously everything is working so it's fine uh if i obviously hold down minus obviously i'll trigger warp mode and obviously you can hear the motor um, obviously the uh the chain ring the crank spindle isn't going to move it's on the other side um I'm not going to do it for too long because I know we'll just come up with an error message saying, um, I think it's error 21. But the point being anyway is that it, it will work. It's not a problem. Whether it be UART or Canvas, it is compatible. I've not done anything to the uh, the workings of the frame. Um, it literally just connects in. And obviously the connectors for the M620, you can obviously route it through. Obviously you'll notice that I'm running just a single cable for the display the reason for that is because i'm umming and ahhing because uh the e55 uses a internal cable headset routing method as opposed to the head tube method and so if you were to take into consideration that you can have a dropper cable lever your brake and your gear cable and your display cable that's four cables in total and then optional if you want to run a throttle so that's five um, I'm not running brake hoses, uh, the motor cutoffs, but essentially that would be two further ones. So that would be a maximum of seven. And uh, I think that would be a bit overkill for the headset. Notwithstanding the fact, I do need to see whether or not it is possible to put an angle headset in here. So I'm just experimenting with that, but that will obviously, I'll show that um, once the uh, once the bike is obviously fully operational and up and running. But point being is UART, it is compatible with the E55. Um, it doesn't matter if it's 48 volt or 52, technically the UART M620s are programmable. So once I've got everything up and running, I will need to reprogram it so that the display shows the correct battery capacity and percentage as to what it is. Again, 52 volt, 20 amps. This motor is interpreting that battery as a 48 volt. So technically, if I were to run it right now, it will drop the, uh, the voltage to a point in where it believes it's a 48 volt, which is harmful for the reengine Durad, no, reengine Rhino battery. And um, because I'm familiar with the reengine BMSs, I know that if it drops to a certain voltage, the BMS will literally cut power to the, the, the battery. Notwithstanding the fact, um, let me just turn it off just so that I can obviously just show you quick. Um, these batteries, whilst they are very similar to traditional re-engine re batteries, just letting you know, obviously once that power button is turned off, no power is going through, so that's fine. Um, but restarting the BMS on these batteries are not easy people. So obviously 
you can see there it's not fully charged but restarting the bms like i said is not easy before with the re-engine batteries uh, you've had a couple of methods this one is a little bit more sophisticated you'd essentially have to take everything off there and in, in order to do it um, i'll make an independent video as to what i mean but essentially going back to what i was saying uart m620s they do work on the e55 Huge shout out to Titan Pro for the M620 hookup. Huge shout out to Deng Fu for the E55 frame set hookup. And I will catch you soon once this bike is fully operational built. And of course, I'll show you exactly how to build one in the upcoming videos. All right, take it easy, guys. Peace.